How would you divide the following blocks evenly among four students? In this lesson, you will learn to use the mean to determine fair share by drawing pictures. Let's review. To find the mean, you add up the numbers and you divide by the quantity of numbers. Common misunderstanding is what is fair share? Now, if you're the little girl, she doesn't think it's fair that she has to share her cookies with her brother. Fair share is actually a math term and it's talking about mean. So back to our original question of the blocks. Well, we have the most amount of yellow blocks, so we'll start with them. We'll take two blocks off of the yellow and move it to the green so it's the same height as the blue. Well, the yellow and blue are still taller than the purple and green columns, so we'll take another one off the yellow column and move it to the green column, and then we'll take one off the blue column and move it to the pink column. So now they're even and they all have seven blocks each. How would you arrange these three rows of desks into four rows so all the rows have the same number of desks? So once again, we'll start with the row with the most amount of desks. So we'll take off four desks from there and then our third row still has an extra desk so we'll move that one over and now all the rows have five desks each. So suppose there's three friends and they want to buy ice cream, but then one of their other friends comes up and doesn't have any money. And so they want to share evenly so everyone has the same amount of money. So how would we do that? Well, the person that has $5 would give a dollar first, and then the person with $4 each they would both give a dollar and then all four friends each have three dollars. How would you arrange the books so there are an even amount on each shelf? Well, we'll start with the shelves with the most amount of books and move them to the shelves with the least amount of books. So our third and fifth shelf have the most, so we'll start with them and we'll move to the fourth shelf. And we'll keep doing that until the fourth shelf gets a little longer. Now we can also look at our second shelf, which is pretty short, and start moving some books there. So now we'll straighten up our first shelf and see if they all have the same amount, which they do. They all have six books each. In this lesson, you have learned how to use the mean to determine fair share by drawing pictures.